This video will cover the topic, graphing a parabola of the form y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. In this topic, we'll be given a parabolic equation in this form. y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where a is not equal to zero. We'll be asked to graph the parabola by plotting the vertex in two additional points on each side of the vertex. I've never seen parabolas in this form before. Why would we want to write them like this? Writing parabolic equations in this form tells us a few things about the graph. First, the sign of a tells us which direction the parabola opens. If a is positive, the parabola opens upward. And if a is negative, the parabola opens downward. Additionally, the h and k values Tell us about our vertex. The parabola will have a vertex at h comma k. So this form is useful for graphing, right? Exactly. Why don't we take a look at an example? Say we're given a parabola with an equation in the following form. y equals negative 3 times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 5. We want to graph the parabola by plotting the vertex in four additional points, two on each side of the vertex. Comparing this given equation with the equation above it, we can identify a, h, and k. So a equals negative 3, h equals 1, and k equals 5. Since a is negative 3, we know our parabola will open downward. And since the vertex can be defined as h comma k, the vertex of our parabola is 1 comma 5. Now we need to find two points on each side of the vertex. To the left of the vertex, we can solve for y when x equals negative 1 and 0. To the right of the vertex, we can solve for y when x equals 2 and 3. First, let's plug negative 1 in for x into our parabolic equation. This gives us y equals negative 3 times the quantity negative 1 minus 1 squared plus 5. When we simplify this, we see that y equals negative 7. This tells us the point negative 1 comma negative 7 lies on our parabola. Next, we can plug 0 in for x. When we simplify negative 3 times the quantity 0 minus 1 squared plus 5, we get that y equals 2. This tells us that the point 0 comma 2 also lies on our parabola. Next, we can plug 2 in for x, which also results in a y value of 2. And we can plug 3 in for x, which results in a y value of negative 7. Now we see that the points negative 1 comma negative 7, 0 comma 2, 1 comma 5, 2 comma 2, and 3 comma negative 7 all lie on the graph. From here, we can plot our points. Now we can connect them with the proper parabolic curve. We see that we've now drawn a downward opening parabola with a vertex at the point 1 comma 5. Okay, so to graph a parabola in the form y equals 8 times x minus h squared plus k, the sign of a tells us which direction the parabola opens. The vertex of the parabola is given by h, k, and we have to find two points on either side of the vertex. We can then draw a curve through our points and we will have our graph. Exactly. Great work! 